Hi, this is Justin Prince, and I'm excited to be able to share the Modair Career Path with you over the next few minutes. Now, uh, the Modair Career Path was designed to help people to build a residual income for themselves, to basically set themselves up financially. Now, at this point in your process with Modair, you most likely have reviewed some additional information. You've watched uh, the story of social retail, maybe some other videos, maybe another exclusive webinar. Maybe you've had a three-way phone call with another Modair social marketer. Maybe you've been to a live event, et cetera. But the point is you're now at this point saying, hey, how does the dollars work? You know, you kind of want to get some additional information. And we just believe that the more informed and educated people are, the more empowered they are to make good decisions. And so our goal in the next few minutes is kind of information education. And the good news with Modair is the closer you look, the more informed, the more educated you become, the better it looks. It's not one of those things that the closer you look and you kind of pull out a magnifying glass, it looks worse. It actually gets better and better and better with time. So uh, in our next few minutes, instead of diving into every single percentage in the compensation structure and walking through all of the different numbers, I want to instead kind of go a little bit high level with you because I want to talk to you really the way I'd want you to talk to me, which is what do I need to do to get this? So if you're thinking, what would I need to do to make 500 bucks a month or what would I need to do to make $1,000 a month or 5,000 or 10,000 or what would I need to do to make 50,000 or more? you'll hear all of those behaviors today. So I'm going to focus more on the behaviors than I am on like how much percent you make on level four, you know, in all the different ranks and titles. I want you to know all those things, but they don't make any money. What makes you money is the behaviors. You know, what do we need to do to make the money? So let's kind of walk through this together. Uh, you'll hear as you go through all the different information that you'll have this 90 day path to escape. So the first thing you're going to do as you join Modair is you're going to get on the path to escape. Like the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to drive to this. And this 90 day path to escape is designed not only for you yourself, but also for you to be able to teach your team so they can live this more modern life that's styled by Modair. It's three simple steps. Step one, you're gonna get on the path. You do that by getting two shares in the revenue sharing pool. We're gonna discuss that. Step two, simply you win the Modair experience. And you do this by helping three of your people get on the path and then you also get a share. And then step three, you actually win the escape. You actually win the Modair escape. When you do this, you're gonna uh, have three of your people be on the escape. So, or pardon me, the experience. You have three of your folks win the experience and you get a share. Now let's kind of walk through how it works. The, when you are on the path in your first 30 days, this will be the most important thing. If you leave this presentation today, I want you to know, get on the path, get on the path. Um, importantly, not only for you, but for, this is what you're gonna teach. You're going to teach everybody in their first 30 days, let's get you on the path. Let's get you on the path. Um, when this happens, they're going to make over 600 bucks. They'll get all of their uh, the, the orders from their or the dollars back from their original order. They'll also be in profit. They'll have their business kind of rolling at this point. They'll have a lot of momentum and a lot of steam. Your goal is to get on the path yourself, and then you're going to teach this over and over and over redundantly for your folks to get on the path. And again, they'll make over 600 bucks in their first 30 days. Now, how do they get on the path? They're going to earn two shares. There's two ways to earn shares. The first way is when you have three social marketers join with you in that, in that first month. When you have three people join with you on the social marketer collection, you earn a share. Uh, the second thing you're going to do is you're going to get eight customers to basically try the brand, you know, discover Modair through the customer side of our business. Now, when this happens, you're going you're to earn two shares, one for getting the eight customers, one for getting the three social marketers. One thing that's so powerful and so profound about this idea of social retail is when you start building out your customer base, you're not only, you, you're building what we call a customer pod. So you're not only paid on the customers that you personally introduce, but on all the customers that they introduce and that they introduce and that they introduce. So like other traditional retail brands, we actually market to your customer base. You know, we give them flash sales, limit time offers, discounts, promotions. We get, basically give them reasons for them to not only to repeat purchase, but also to share with other customers. All of those customers are now your customers. They're now attached to you. So if you were to have 100 customers in a row talk to each other and share, they would all be attached back to you even though you only introduced that first customer. You can make up to 42% commission when these customers order. You'll make 10 to 20% of that commission on a monthly basis according to how much revenue you're doing in your customer pod. You'll also make $100 to $1,000 a month in your customer pod on monthly and quarterly bonuses. So you can have you know, up to a $1,000 monthly bonus and up to a $1,000 quarterly bonus in addition to your 20% commission. So again, we have people that have generated, that generate every month these great incomes, great living on just their customer pod. So this is a really powerful component of Modair. Now, for 
the, for those of you who are looking to build a really massive residual income, like a massive team and a great residual income, these customer pods are really profound. So check this out. You're in a normal direct selling company. You know, you sign up three people, for example, and you are paid on those, what those three people order each month. If they start to enroll a customer, like maybe a preferred customer, or maybe they enroll a, a distributor, you know, for a rep for that company, then that rep goes on level two, on their level one, your level two, that customer goes on their level one, your level two. So it starts to kind of push the volume away from you and you're paid typically lesser percentages as the volume gets further away from you. In Modere, all of your, you're paid on all the orders of the social marketers and the team that you build. Anytime they order the product, you're, you're compensated. You're also paid on their entire pods of volume. So to give you a perspective, I have a, a woman with no direct selling experience, no networking experience. She lives out in Dallas, Texas. This woman was introduced to Modere. She fell in love with the brand, fell in love with the products, loved the idea of social retail. She was already promoting brands that she loved anyway. She promoted it to 150 friends. Those friends used her code or her link and made a purchase. The company uh, marketed to that customer base. She now has over 450 customers in that customer pod. So she gets paid thousands of dollars a month in commission. Well, guys, on my second level, I'm not just paid on her order. I'm paid on all 450 customers on that one level. All 450 customers sit on the second level. That's the power as you build up these massive organizations. So those of you who have built networks before, imagine if you had 10, 20, 30 customers per one person and they don't take up any levels. So your organization just gets bigger and more full of volume. Clearly, your income would go up 10, 20, 30 times with the exact same amount of team that you've built in the past. Now, once you help three people get on the path, you're going to win the Modere experience. Now, here's the deal. We're going to talk behaviors here. So how do you win the Modere experience? You help three of your folks get on the path in your second 30 days. Now, here's the deal. When that happens, you're going to actually in our compensation structure, you're going to become what's called a team leader. But instead of going to your friend trying to explain team leader, you know, the 3,000 points and the 1,500 in their max leg and all that stuff. You just say to him, hey, look, uh, you know, let's get you on the path. Let's get these three people on the path, help make $600 or more in their first 30 days. When you become a team leader, you're going to build about a $300 to $500 a month re, uh, residual income. And you're also going to get a $750 rank advancement bonus uh, re, that's right here. Now, here's the thing. These bonuses are paid out in three-month increments. A lot of direct selling companies pay out their, these uh, rank advancement bonuses in 12-month or 20-month, 24-month increments. So in other words, if you hit it month one, you have 24 months to, to, you know, to collect on that little bonus. So it's broken into, you know, it's, it's the, whatever the bonus is divided by 24. Well, if you ever don't qualify for it, then guess who keeps the money? The company does. In this plan, it's only three months. So you just hit and maintain for, hit it month one, maintain month two and three, and you, you get that whole bonus through all of our rank advancement bonuses. What is also particularly cool about this is these team leaders only have 3,000 in sales, 3,000 in volume. So they're small little teams. They're just getting started. They only have three people that have gotten on the path themselves. They're just getting their business started. This team leader position will actually be the crux of our whole business. So again, get on the path. Second thing, help three folks get on the path and you become a team leader and you also you win the experience. So that's the behavior. When you help three of your people win those mode air experiences, you win the escape. So the, again, the escape are these amazing trips. Now, when you win the escape, you're 90 days into your new business. You've probably made about four to $6,000 as far as through all the bonuses. So you made four to $6,000 cash in your first 90 days, but you've built a, a 800 to $1,200 a month residual. So if your goal is to like, let's say your goal is to make a thousand bucks a month. Once you win that 90 day path to escape, you've made about five or six grand. Plus you've now got your a consistent 800 to 1200 bucks a month, you know, income. You also get a $1,500 rank advancement or, or title advancement bonus. Again, that's paid out over the three days or the three months. Now, here's what's so cool. You're also in our, in our career path, you become what's called a director one. Now, you again, all you need to know is help three folks win the experience and you win the escape in your first 90 days. But as a director one, you'll have one qualifying team leader team, one qualifying team leader line. You'll have 12,000 in total volume and you can count 7,000 from your max leg. But again, I want to go back to this. This is the power of this plan, the power of this model is to win that trip. We're going to help three folks win the motor experience. It's that simple. You're going to get some shares. You're going to help three folks win the motor experience. You don't need to know all the 12,000 max lay and all that stuff. That doesn't, that's important as far as when you, when you help the th those three people, win their experiences, you, you're getting your shares, you're going to already have the 12,000. So focus more on the behavior than the volume because the volume comes if we're doing the right behaviors. 
So when you have two people that escape with you, so two people on your team that are actually going with you. Now, remember, this is actually four people going because these escapes, it's a it's a couple. It's you know, it's you and a significant other. So when when you have two people escape, you're actually helping four people escape on this trip. You're going to have uh, you're going to become what's called a director two in the compensation structure. You're going to have built a fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollar a month, you know, uh, monthly residual income. There's a three thousand dollar cash bonus paid out over the three months. To be a director two, uh, you have two qualifying legs, twenty five thousand in volume. You can count fifteen thousand from your biggest team, your biggest leg. But again, when, if you want to make two thousand a month, you want to help two people get on that ninety day path to escape. Do you know two friends that them and a significant other would love to go on this trip with you over the next ninety days? If the answer is yes, that's how you're going to build to two thousand a month. If you want to uh, build maybe a three thousand to five thousand dollar month income, here's what you're going to do. You're going to help three folks get on that escape. When you do that, you're going to get, again, you'll have built kind of a residual business, about three to 5000 a month. You'll get a $6,000 bonus paid out over three months. And you'll, at this point, you're, you'll become what's called a director three. Director threes have three different team leader legs. Again, those team leaders, just these little tiny teams that are in, in the line. You have $50,000 of total revenue, and you can count 35000 from your biggest team. But again, you help three folks get on that 90-day path to escape. Now, let's say you really want to ramp up, right? You want to take your income from maybe a five to $10,000 a month type, you know, monthly residual income. And this is not a bonus income. This is your residual. You would help six folks get on that path. You know, six, uh, in this case, again, 12 people, but you'd help six people on your team win the uh, Modera escape. When you help six people escape, you have five to 10,000 a month. You get a $12,000 cash bonus paid out over three months. And you've now become what's called an elite social marketer. So you've gone from director to elite. And this is the next level in our plan. You have three qualifying team leader teams, you know, three different lines with one team leader. You have at least 100,000 in volume and 70,000 in your max leg. What if your goal is to make 14 to 20,000 a month? So, you know, even a higher level, build a, you know, a multiple six-figure type residual income. You're going to help 12 folks get on that trip. When 12 folks are on the Modera escape, you'll have 14, 20,000 a month. You'll have a $30,000 cash bonus paid out over three months. Uh, you'll also become what's called an elite two. So an elite two, you have three different team leader teams. You have 200,000 200, in volume and 140,000 in your max leg. Now, what's so powerful, again, about this path to escape is if you say to someone, you need to go generate 200,000 in volume, guess how much that sounds like? A lot. You know, it just it sounds like a ton. But if you say, hey, we're going to have 12 people go on this trip. We all know 12 people that would love to um, every six months go on an amazing trip. So to, would, would want to win this next trip with us, them and their significant other. We help 12 people do that. You've built that, that kind of volume, that kind of business. And then just to give, uh, lastly, if you want to build a twenty-five dollars to $50,000 a month or more income, you'd become uh, what's called an elite three. The way you become an elite three is help 24 people escape. Help 24 folks uh, escape on this mode air, uh, escape this 90 day path to escape. And you'll make, again, you'll have built a, a business about 25 to $50,000 a month or more. Um, our early modeling, by the way, just to give you an idea, was our, the average income was 50 to 120,000 a month at this elite three level. I'm sharing that with you to say uh, these, these numbers is 25 to 50 is actually low. We're trying to be, you know, ultra conservative. These dollars could be significantly higher. But at this point, you get a $75,000 cash bonus paid out over three months. At this point, you've maxed out the Modera career path. In other words, you become the very top of the Modera career path. You have three qualified team leader teams. You have $400,000 in total volume, total revenue. And you can count $280,000 from your biggest team. So typically what happens in, if you build a network is you'll have one team that gets huge. You can count a massive amount, $280,000 of that towards your biggest team. But again, the easiest way to think about this, to structure this out in your mind, is we're going to help 24 people go on this 90-day uh, path to escape with us. 24 people are going to be going on these, this trip with us. And can you imagine what a modern life, right? Like you're on this amazing trip with your best friends, people that you really care about, them and their, their significant other. You're traveling the world and you're making a twenty-five dollars to $50,000 a month or more income. Like that is an awesome thing with this whole you know 90-day path to escape. So. Let me uh, walk you through some things of kind of how to structure, how to maximize the career path. First of all, you're, you need three teams. Now, what I want to point out is the flexibility of this plan. It's unbelievable. Those of you who come from the networking world are going to love this. Here's you. If you introduce a team leader personally, in other words, you personally sign this person up and they hit team leader, that line counts for you. 
this team, you didn't personally sign this person up. This person introduced this person and the team leaders down the line. This team leader not only counts for you as one of the team leader lines that you need, it also counts for both of these people. So if they were to rank advance, they, they would now count for you. This line counts for all three of you. And again, a team leader only has 3,000 in volume. There's companies that have, you know, to qualify a leg to become one of their big positions, you have to have a leg that has $150,000 of revenue. These people have 3,000, you know, instead of 150, three for these, these little team leader teams. So our plan is really built on creating volume. Now, what if someone uh, above you, what if one of the people in your team were to actually place someone in your organization? They actually place someone who ultimately developed into a team leader. That also counts. So whether you personally signed them up frontline, whether someone in your team introduced them, or whether they were placed in your organization, all three of those count. And all they need to do is generate that 3,000 in volume to count the whole line. So our plan is getting us focused on as business, as entrepreneurs, on as business professionals, on the thing that we should be focused on. And what is that? It's volume. It's creating revenue. Because whether you're in restaurants or real estate, at the end of the day, we're all paid on revenue. We're all paid on the, the uh, amount of, of revenue we can generate for that business. So that's what you're focused on. The structure of this business is unbelievable. Next thing is this. How would you want to structure it? Let me just kind of give you some guidelines and some rules and, and, and maybe some just perspectives, you know, some things that we maybe learned the hard way. So you are, as you're getting started, you'll know what to do. First of all, everybody that you sign up, so if you were to sign up 10 people today, all 10 of them would go into what we call a 60-day holding tank. And what that simply means is this. They all go front line to you. They basically all reside on your first level, on your front line, on your first level. So go sign all 10 of them up. You don't need to worry about where I place them at, you know, day one. Sometimes what happens is people say, I'm going to be huge. I'm going to be an E3. I'm going to win the trip. And then they don't do that. You know, unfortunately, that's kind of what happens in life sometimes. So you don't have to try and make a decision today. You have 60 days to kind of figure out where you want to place them. Um, what I would encourage you to do is don't place anyone until you have at least three strong leader teams. So you have three different lines with at least one strong team leader in each line. And the reason I say that is, why would you place a brand new person that knows nothing under another brand new person who knows nothing? It's like the blind leading the blind. It's like they're now both calling you saying, hey, we both know nothing. You might as well just keep them both front line and, and work with them and, and to develop them. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is don't place anyone under someone until you – don't place anybody until you have at least three strong team leader teams that have started to develop. When you have those three strong team leaders, then it would, might make sense. The next thing I'm going to share with you is this. Don't place anyone below your third level. In your first three levels, what we call our OP3, our organizational points in your first three levels. OP3 stands for organizational points in your first three levels. You want that to be really strong. You want the, the revenue, the volume to stay close to you. And I'm going to explain you know, there's a whole bunch of reasons for this. You'll basically help you to make more money. It'll help your business to be more solid. It'll help your residuals to stay really strong. So I would encourage you, don't place someone on your 19th level. It's just, it's just stupid. Like it, there's no reason to do it. I would also encourage this. Don't place a warm egg under a cold chicken. You know, like don't think you're just going to motivate someone that's doing nothing and has no desire, no ambition, and no want to do this by placing someone under them. If you have someone that's, that's, uh, you know, a real leader and they can really help to absorb some of the work that that person's going to take to get them started and do their calls and do their coaching and mentoring, then it might make sense, right? You, you might make sense to place them under that person, but don't, don't think that you're going to go out there and save the world. A mentor of mine said to me years ago, he said, he said, uh, go make it a fortune and then go back and save the world second. So in other words, if you want to like, you know, you want to help your, your uncle because he, your great uncle, you know, has never had a good job and you really want to help him, go make a fortune and then, and then put him on your payroll. Don't try and build under him and think you're going to all of a sudden turn him in to this big rock star. Don't put a warm egg under a cold chicken. Next thing is this. The other reason you want to keep that revenue high and tight is because you get you can max out the plan. You can become what's called an elite three or an E3 by having just three teams. But one of the most powerful parts. Now, if you're a network marketing professional, you're going to get this. If you're not, it's OK. <laughs> just later, you're going to get how powerful this really is. But on your fourth team and beyond, we call it your, your four and more builder bonus. When you build a fourth team and a fifth team and a sixth team and a seventh team, and, and, and as far as you would like to build, you're actually going to receive an additional 2 to 4% override on those teams. So if on level one you make 5%, you'll now make 7, or you'll make 8, or you'll make 9% on level one. If at level two you make 5%, you'll now make 9. You can add the extra 2 to 4%. This starts when you become a team leader. When you're a team leader, you'll get an extra 2% on your fourth team and beyond. 
When you're a director, you'll get an extra 3%. And when you're an elite social market, you'll get an extra 4%. So what that really means is this, you built this amazing business and you go to somebody and say, hey, look, in the next six months, I'm going to focus on on someone, I'm going to really help run them to this, you know, to a huge part in our company, help them get on this trip and beyond, help them get a bunch of folks on this trip. I'd love to, you know, invest my time into you. You start your fourth leg, then your fifth team and your sixth team and your seventh team. And you'll receive an, an, an additional uh, two to 4% on that revenue. Guys, over time, there will be some of you uh, watching this that are gonna build not only your three strong teams, but then you'll build a fourth team and a fifth team because you're great team builders, you're great at doing this. You're gonna make an absolute fortune on this four and more builder bonus. So again, I wanna reiterate, you can max the plan out with three, right? You can go to the top of the plan with three teams, but you're gonna to wanna to keep those, those great teams you know, on your fourth team, fifth team, sixth team, because you're gonna receive additional percentages as you do that. So now with all of that said, let me share with you probably the coolest part of this. So we've talked about the customer pods, you can make you know, go through all the customer ranks and make an absolute fortune just on the customers. You can also build teams of people that are doing it. You can get all of those rank advancement bonuses, over $128,000 worth of rank advancement bonuses. Then you build this massive you know, unilevel organization, all of the different uh, uh, people you're building in your organization, them and their entire pods. And then we also have this leadership development bonus. So let me walk you through how this works. Now, I'm going to start with the example that you're an E3. So again, E3s. Uh, make an average in this example of 25 to 50. Let's just say for the sake of this illustration that you're already making $50,000 a month, right? So what a what a great day. The other great day is that you're not the only E3. You actually have an E3 in your organization. So down one of those lines, you actually have an E3 in your group. Not only do you receive your $50,000 a month check, but let's say for the sake of this illustration that the E3 in your group is also making $50,000 a month, but theirs is all on the unilevel. So they're actually, their unilevel check, their residual monthly check is 50,000 a month. You will receive a 22% check match on their monthly unilevel check, on their residual portion of their check, that unilevel portion, you'll receive a 22% match. So if their check is 50,000, their monthly unilevel, you would receive an $11,000 match on their check. Well, what if in their group, they have an E2, which is typically probably what would happen. They have some leaders in their team. This is an example of just one E2. What if they had 30 of them, right? You would receive a 20% match on that E2's check. So what if that E2 is making, for the sake of an example, 20,000 a month residually, you would receive a $4,000 match on their monthly residual. Under that E2, they have an E1, you'd receive an 18% match on all of the E1s in that entire organization. Under that E1, you'd receive a 16% match on all of the D3s, a 14% match on all of the director twos, a 12% match on all of the director ones, all the way down to a 10% match on all of the team leaders within that entire organization. Now, if that's not enough, right? Because it would uh, most likely be hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands or tens of thousands of leaders within that organization. If that's not enough, that's just one generation. So imagine all that you just saw is just one generation of E3. You would also check match on below that E3. So down to the next E2, the director one, all their team leaders, the next team leader, the next director three. You can notice the percentages are different depending on the rank. You get different percentages on as you develop leaders in your group, as their rank goes up and therefore their income goes up, your income goes up because you get a higher percentage match on their check. All the way down to the next E3. So you check match on the first E3, their entire organization, all the way down to the next E3, you check match on their monthly check. So if their monthly check is a $50,000 month, monthly check, as, as like we talked about earlier, that monthly residual, you'd make an additional $11,000 a month from their check. And then you're stopped there. So you, go, you get E3, whole organization, down to the next E3. Now, a couple of questions I want to answer for you. People say, have you guys modeled this? Like, is this going to pan out? The answer is yes. We've modeled it, and what's so cool with Modair is we're not just a startup, right? We model it against real data, real people, real organizations. You know, uh, over $300 million worth of real organizations, how the organizations actually really come together. The other thing that's so profound about this is this allows you to, this compensation structure allows you to do the two things that create residual income. The two things are create customers, real retail customers, and create leadership, like create real leaders. And this plan will pay uh, better than any compensation structure in the direct selling world to on those two behaviors, getting customers and building out these massive organizations of leaders. Now, let me give you another quick example. 
let this team, this uh, check matching begins once you're a director one. So you can actually start check matching when you're a director one. You don't have to be an E3 to check match. By the way, director one, if you remember, is when you win the trip. When you win the, mode, the 90 day path to escape, when you win the escape, you actually are a director one. So when you hit director one, you'll start check matching on the team leaders in your organization. You notice that this team leader you didn't even introduce, you're still check matching. This team leader you did introduce. Now, what if this team leader actually introduced someone who's also a director? So you didn't even introduce this director, but this person led you to someone else who's also a director in your organization. You check match 12% of their monthly check. The reason you only get 10% of the team leaders is because that's how much you make on team leaders. You're going to encourage these guys to rank up. When they rank advanced, that's what you want in a compensation structure is you want people to move through it, to move up like three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. You want your organization still to be motivated to move up. You want to get down and help these people move up because when their checks move up, so does your check. So in this case, you get 10% on the team leader and you're check matching on this. Now, let me give you another example. What if you introduce a rock star? Like you just get lucky. I mean, just, you know, the stars align and you introduce someone who's just amazing, right? They're just unbelievable. Let's say they hit E3. Like you personally introduce someone that says, hey, I appreciate you introduced me to this. I'm out. I'm going to go do this thing. It's funny. The gentleman that introduced me originally to the whole direct sales world, he was actually a medical doctor. Well, he kind of like poked at it a little bit and he introduced me and I went for it. You know, I, I actually went and took off. So what if you actually introduce someone that's way better than you and advances way further than you? When you, if you were to introduce an E3, now you're only a director one, you're kind of in, in still the early stages. So you're not an E3 yourself yet. You're not even an elite social marketer yet. You would check match 12% of that E3's check. So what if that E3 is making, you know, for the sake of this illustration, they're making $100,000 a month. Like they are just blowing and going. That's their monthly residual unit level check. You would make a $12,000 match on that E3's monthly check. Now here's what's so profound. Guess what, what happens, what you're going to want to do next. You're going to want to go from director one to director two. <laughs> Why? Because when you go from director one to director two, you don't just get 12% anymore. Now you get 14%. So using that same example, you'd go from a $12,000 a month match on just that one check, just that one organization, to a $14,000 a month check. Now, as you go to director three, this will go to 16,000. As you go to elite one, it will go to 18,000. Elite two, 20,000. Elite three, 22,000. So every month you're like working hard to get up because you're going to get significant um, increases in your compensation, increases in your pay as you rank through the plan. That's what you want people to do is to constantly be motivated to move up to the next level, to move to the next sphere and to become a better leader because the way that you're going to create a massive organization is when you have leaders in your group. Customers and leaders will create true long-term passive residual income. And in the direct selling world, we um, have lacked one of one or the other or both in most of these companies. That's why this vision, this idea of a long-term residual income has become more of a fleeting thought for people. They either don't have any real customers, they have no real value prop for a customer, a true, honest retail customer, or they don't have a compensation structure that rewards behaviors of leadership. And so they have no leaders in their organization, no competency, no leadership. Therefore, their organizations over time, you know, erode and, and meld away. So to make it real simple, help three escape, build, a, you know, $3,000, $5,000 month income. Help six escape, build a $5,500 to $10,000. Help 12 escape, $14 to $20. Help 24 escape, $25 to $50. Again, you can kind of fit where you feel the most comfortable, the, the, the way that, you know, the, the work ethic and so on that it would, it would feel to build the income that you're looking to build. But if you have big dreams, big goals, big ambition, a big desire to really change your life, that's how I felt when I first joined. I really like, felt like I wanted to be somebody when I grew up. Well, we have all of the tools, the systems, the platform in place. And so what do you need to do today? Get on the path. Get on the path. In your next 30 days, your goal is to get on the path and then to help your folks do the exact same thing. Well, I really appreciate your time and attention. Get back with a person that has introduced you to Modere. And ask them to assist you in the enrollment process. If you need have some additional questions, let's get those answered. But we'd love to partner with you as a social marketer. We believe that we have a model and a, a, a movement that's going to change the world. So, again, thank you so much. Look forward to talking to you soon.